my name is Lisa. Welcome to today's workout. For today, we're going to be focusing on our upper body. Um, it'd be nice if you had ankle weights to strap on. Um, also, have your pink thing ready to go because we'll be using that for our final move. We got three different moves, 50 seconds on with a 10 second rest. And let's start with this caterpillar walkout. What I want you to do is raise your hands up. You hinge from your hips, walk it out, hold your plank. Now let's tap. Shoulder taps, beautiful. And now walk it in, let's reach up again. Good, bring it down, walk it up. Hold your plank first, make sure you're not moving around your hips. Awesome. Walk it back up, reach up. Good. You feel a nice core uh, stretch that way. You're also releasing tension in your shoulders. Good. Whenever you're doing these shoulder taps, you want to make sure that your hands come directly underneath your shoulders. It should look like one straight line. You're not reaching away. Good work. Let's keep it going. Tap, tap, and rest. Awesome. For our next move, we're going to be doing what I call commanders or plank pop-ups. I want you to choose one side of your body. I will start with the left so you can see me. We're going to start in a low plank. Let's go to up, up, up to a high plank. So use your left hand, prop your body up, and bring your body down. Okay? We'll be doing 25 seconds per side. Inhale as you come down. Exhale as you come up. You want your hand to go exactly where your elbow was, and your elbow replaces your hand. Five seconds, and we'll swap over to the right side. In three two, and swap. Good. Exhale as you come up. Inhale as you come down. You're engaging your core, and you're doing your best to not move around your hips. If you need to modify this, you can bring your body down to your knees, swing your toes off the ground, and keep it going. We are working your upper body. You're still going to feel that burn. Good. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, and rest. Good. For our next move, we're going to be going into a prone swimmer, okay? Prone exercises are targeting your posterior chain, you're laying down with your hands out. I want you to lift your opposite limbs and switch, okay? So lift and switch. You're squeezing up into your glutes. I want you to reach your toes and your hands as far away as each other. You feel a diagonal running through your back, okay? Once you're ready, you can pick up your pace. You're just going to keep fluttering here. You're going to keep swimming. See if you can go out, go out wider and higher. We are targeting our back. Woo. Harder than it looks. Try to pick up your quads off the ground as well. Remember, it's the opposite limbs going out. Good. Try to keep your chest off the ground. It's a tough one to do for the 50 seconds. Woo, it is a bird. And stop. Awesome. We're going to use the pink thinking next. I want you to bring it around your back. Okay, hang on to the two sides. We're going to bring it down with our legs up. Good. I want you to make a fist and do these like boxer punches to your opposite sides. You're engaging your core here, doing your best to not swing around your body or your legs. Good. Protect your face using your hands, then punch across. Want hard punches? Let's try to work up that burn in our arms. Good. Another one that's tough to do for the full time. This is how we work past a burn or pushing to progress. 10 more seconds, we get a break. Good. Keep breathing. It's an exhale through the mouth. Three, two, one. Woo! All right, you can remove the pink thingy. Your arms feel like jello already. We got two more rounds of that. Let's start off at the top. We're gonna walk it out, caterpillar crawl to your tops. Let's go, reach it up, walk it up. Good, this round, we can pick it up. Okay, I'm gonna toss in a little bit of a level up for you this, this round. At the, at the tops, you add one more, okay? So we're doing two rounds of your shoulder taps. Reach up, then we go to three rounds, okay? So left, right, left, right, one more time, left, right, bring it in. Good. And reach. Now we do four. You go for as long as we can. Let's see how many reps we can get up to. Or rounds of your taps. Good. Bring it up. Arms are feeling jello, they're starting to shake. Let's see if we can get to five. 
We're running out of time. Let's keep going without swinging your hips. Good. Whew, that was good. We got it. All right, commander's up next. Choose one side. I'm going to start with my left. We're going up and down from low to high plank. We're starting low. Ready? Let's get it. Bring it up and down. Good. Remember, if this is too challenging for you, you can bring it down to your knees. First check that you're doing it right. You want your hands directly underneath your shoulders. You pop yourself up using your next hand, okay? Your elbow replaces your hand. You'll Maybe if you're using a mat, you find an indent. That's where you're pushing into. Let's switch now to the right side. I'm engaging my core, I'm squeezing in my glutes to help with my hips from swinging. Check your feet position. You can go out a little bit further if you feel like you're swinging around too much. Good. 10 more seconds. Beautiful. Nice and rest. Whew. All right, we got our prone swimmers up next. Laying down on our front. We'll start slow. We can pick it up once we get comfortable. Ready? Let's go. Pick it up and down. Opposite limbs. Keep your shoulders down behind you. Your chest peels off. You're pivoting on your hip bone. You feel your quad uh, lift off the ground as well. Let's start to pick up our pace. Good. Going higher and wider and faster if possible. Good. Keep your chest off the ground. You got it. Breathing through. All right, we're almost there. 15 seconds, then we break. So good, work that burn. Your shoulders are feeling tired. We got five, four, three, two, and rest. Good stuff. Whew. All right, grab that pink thingy. Quick transition, we're gonna bring it behind our back. So grabbing onto the two ends. Good, get ready for your boxer punches. Legs are up, let's go. See if you can pick up your pace without swinging your body. I'm really pushing my heels towards the ceiling. My toes are at my face. Legs are straight. I'm engaging my core by pulling in my belly button. Again, your arms are starting to feel heavy. You're gonna really feel it once you let go. Here's what I found. Oh my gosh, keep going. 20 seconds. Good. Ten seconds left. Keep punching it, keep punching it. Left and right, reach far. Good. Making that fist. Three, two, and one. Whew. We get out and then we feel that. Okay guys, one more round. Let's stand up. Quick shake out. Let's go. Reach up, walk it up. These are quick burners. Okay, remember we're adding plus one round of shoulder taps every time we're on the floor. Okay, so now we're gonna do two rounds. Left, right, left, and right. Bring it back in. Good. We're at three now. <laughs> Good. Pulling in that core. Engaging your glutes. You're leaning into your palms. Beautiful. Let's see if we can get five. Awesome job, you guys are killing it. We are so close to the end. Good. All right, we got commanders up next. For this one, let's start with the right side just to shock it up a bit. So start with the right side. You're on your low plank. Bring your body up using your right. Your left hand follows. Right side down first, left hand just follows. Good. Awesome. Exhale up. Once we're 25 seconds in, we'll switch sides. Just about five seconds to go. My arms are shaking. Okay, left side, let's do it. Up and down. Remember to regress it. If you're really feeling tired, because we've done so many already, you can bring it down to your knees. Takes a little bit off. We're still burning in arms. 
Five more seconds, you guys. Three, two, and rest. Good. Oh, quick shake out. We got prone swimmers going on to our front. Ready, guys? Whew. Let's go opposite limbs out. Try to keep your chest peeled away from the ground. Think about pinching into the middle of your back. Good. Prone exercises feel a little bit frustrating. I get it. We aren't used to doing these, but we do use our back a lot for everyday activities. So it's important to toss in some prone exercises here and there in your workout routine. All right, guys, when you're ready, you can start to pick up your pace. Keep it flutters, fluttering in your slimmers. Good. Awesome job. Totally crushing it. We got one more. Good. All right, time for your pink thingy. Grabbing onto the sides. Bring it around the back. Boxer position with your hands. Let's punch, punch, punch. Good. Draw that fist in close to your face. Good, I'm not even stopping. We're just gonna keep punching it now. This is our final exercise of the day. So we're just not gonna stop. Let's take it, everything we have out on this final move here. Good. Feel that resistance as you bring it back in, so don't just let go. Feel it, bring it in. See how far you can go. Can you go to the bottom of your shoe? All the way up there. We got 10 seconds. Breathing through. You can do it. Five more. Good. Three, two, and one. Yes, workout completed. You guys did it. Thanks for choosing me. My name is Lisa. That was today's workout. I hope to see you all again soon.